thanks for clicking on the video. And here at Nerd Mimic, we are going to play Dungeons and Dragons. This is the Legend of Drift board game, and this came out in 2011 and is still widely available right now. We're going to play adventure number four today, and I am going to be Dritz. My daughter's going to be Caterpie, and we're going to see if we can complete this mission unscathed. We are all set up and ready to go, and adventure number four is titled The Legacy of the Drow. The setup is Mithril Hall has been reclaimed, but work remains to be done. For the first time since Shimmergrim was defeated, last mission, nearby creatures have grown reckless and several doors have gone missing. What new foe do the champions of the hall now face? So basically, the setup is to have this special map tile with the draw glyph and shuffle with three other tiles, and this mini stack is placed behind the eighth stack in the dungeon deck. So this special glyph will trigger the special action. So it'll be somewhere between the ninth and 12th tile down into the dungeon. And that's basically the setup. So we are ready to go. And I think today you want to go first, Emma? Uh -huh. All right, let's get going. And we'll have the start tile right here. And we've got miniatures all painted, ready to go. You are Caterpie, you'll start right there. And the first thing to do, of course, is just to move, right? Or just this. Well, yeah, the stance is here. This is a special stance where you get a plus four bonus. Yeah, and the other, plus four. Yeah, and the other stance you have is to get a hit point back if you hit, but you're at full health right now. I can move six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to go that way, okay. Here is a dungeon tile for you. All right, so we got it placed. So this has a black arrow. That means we have to pick an encounter card. And we have a special event, a hero sacrifice. The roof in this section of the cave is weak. One well-placed blow will cause the whole thing to collapse. You can choose to cave in a section of the roof. If you do, each hero and monster on your tile takes three damage. If you don't, the hero takes one damage. So I guess you have to take one damage then. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry about that. Discard after playing. All right, one, one health. All right, so the other thing we have to do is draw monster. a monster. Yeah, that is correct. What monster is it? It's a goblin archer. A goblin archer. So I definitely have a miniature for that. Here we go, and he goes on the mushroom tile there. Well, unfortunately not. Remember, uh, you are already done with your hero phase, and now it's the uh, um, villain phase. So the okay. monster's gonna activate. He's gonna go uh, turn towards you, and basically he is gonna shoot an arrow. So you wanna roll for his attack, Emma? Okay. One. One, he totally misses. But uh, unfortunately, he does minimum damage of one. So you still get one damage, Missy. Okay. All right, so sorry about that. Okay, now is my turn, and I get to institute my uh, hero phase. Uh, oh, don't forget, actually, before we did all this, let's backtrack a little bit. I get a treasure. No, 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 not that. Uh, you already have your starting okay. treasure. But here, remember special ability is at the end of your exploration phase, you can move up to two squares. Remember, he has a special weakness. What is it, remember? Mm -hmm. He won't attack if you're next to him. No, it's okay, it's okay. You could, you don't wanna go- No, you, it's okay, I already- Oh, uh, you already did it? Too late. Too late, okay, wow. No. I know you're always very good about the rules, so. All right, so I can move uh, speed of seven. So I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna go all the way here. I'm gonna be right next to him. And I'm gonna attack him with my twinkle so I could get my stance where I can uh, block one damage. So I am gonna attack him with twinkle here and I get a plus six modifier to my roll. Oh no, I only got a two. So I definitely miss uh, six plus two is eight, and I do not meet or exceed his uh, armor class. So I definitely miss, but I get at least my stance here. And I did go to an edge here. That means we have to push the dungeon explorer, which you 
want to do, because if you don't, you automatically have to choose an encounter card. So we're going to draw a tile, and unfortunately, it is a tile with a black arrow. So I have to draw a counter card regardless. So I'm going to do that right now. And we have this special event called Pursuit. Monsters have tracked you uh, to the caverns. Place a new monster on the start tile. All right, so I will do that. So let's draw a monster for the start tile. Oh, well, sorry, this is uh, an encounter card, my mistake. The monster tile is here. So this is a hypnotic spirit. And I do have a miniature for that. Here we go. Hypnotic spirit, we'll put it on the start tile over here. And then I have to draw a monster for this tile and it will be a hunting drake. So let me find a hunting drake. Here we go. And this will, one will be right adjacent to me. So that's convenient for an attack. All right, so this one will activate first. Uh, the goblin will not actually activate because that's with my daughter's turn. So with a hypnotic spirit, um, he is too far away, so he will move one. He moves actually two tiles closer. Okay. So he, he is pretty fast mover. Oh, I apologize. He is actually one tile away from you, Emma. So I think he's still my attack within one tile. Moves up to the closest hero uh, tile and attacks each hero on that tile with horrifying how. So he he is gonna go up to here, okay? He doesn't have to go adjacent to it, but he's gonna go on your tile and he's gonna scream. So he gets a six modifier. He hits you, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. You get another point of damage, all right? The hunting drake will move to adjacent hero, but he's already adjacent to me. So he's gonna attack me with a rendering bite. So this is a uh, plus eight and it is a hit. Does one point of damage, but a half stance that blocks adjacent damage from a monster. So that stance is now gone. And I don't get any damage at all. Oh, what an unfortunate uh, turn of events, right? A bad start so far, Emma? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you gonna do? It is your turn. So first of all, do you wanna keep this stance or wanna no. move it to healing? Yeah, turn. I think that's a smart idea. I'm gonna shoot him again. Okay, go ahead. Seven. seven. Oh no. So seven, um, here is your attack. Plus six is uh, 13. You hit him. Mm -hmm. So you knock him out. So it's great news. We'll keep him at experience. You get a treasure. He goes away. What kind of treasure did he get? A spider mask. Okay, you got also a. a treasure map there okay so uh you still can move do you want to move um, i'm going to move one two three four five six oh, you're gonna explore more huh okay here you go that means another monster coming oh no it's another black yeah. tile oh no okay can you pick a uh a counter card all right, and this is an event called Fall Through the Cracks. You drop into an unseen fissure, and it takes you a few moments to regain your companions. Remove your hero from play. At the start of your next hero phase, place your hero on any square on the start tile. While you are out of play, you do not draw any encounter cards for any reasons. So that's interesting. You just fell through a crack, and went, right, like, like through the crack here. Rah! <laughs> All right, well, I guess that means the monsters want to attack you. Uh, well, the monsters that you control activate. Well, that, so you still have to draw a monster card for this tile, though. Whoop. Oh, it is a hunting party. That is a monster card. So, unfortunately, uh, draw two more monster cards and play them both. Okay, so you have to draw two monster cards. It's not a counter card, but a monster card. So can you draw two more monster cards? Uh-huh. Two more. Okay. So you have, oh no. 
the Drider is one of the big strong monsters. Okay, so let me get the Drider miniature. This is gonna be the big one here. Very cool looking, but unfortunately he's gonna be attacking us here. And we got a Goblin Cutter. So he is a smaller miniature. And let's see, where is he? This is the Goblin Cutter. It's gonna be adjacent. Okay, so they will activate now. So they're not gonna come after you. You're off the map. So they're gonna come after me. Woo! So the Drider is gonna, we're gonna follow the tactics here. So he, he is within two tiles. I am two tiles away. It moves adjacent to the closest hero, attacks that hero with a sword. So he's gonna move adjacent to me and attack with a sword. So it is a plus eight. Can you roll for that? Okay. It's a seven. A seven plus uh, eight, 15. Oh, he misses. Thank goodness. Okay, so the Goblin Cutter, he is too far away. He is two tiles away. So he's gonna move one tile closer to me, okay? All right, so he'll just move over there. Oh boy, Dritz is in trouble. All right, it's my turn. I don't think I'm gonna activate any uh, edges because there are plenty of monsters here already. Now, you know what I think I'm gonna have to do? Maybe I might have to utilize my figure. Instead of attacking, I could have my panther spawn adjacent to me. Place it along with the rest of the monster card control. And then the, the then the path will activate. So that might give me some help. But unfortunately they will activate it first and attack. So I, I need to get my twinkle stance. I might have to do some uh, daily ability and uh, do multiple attacks. So this Drider has three health. So I am in trouble. Um, let's see if I could use this daily power maybe. All right, well, first things first, let me try to do my twinkle attack. Okay, so I'm gonna use this twinkle attack on the hunting drake. So this is a six, plus six is 12. I do not beat the, the hunting drake, but at least I get stance back. Okay, so that's the benefit of that. I have the ability to do another attack, and that's gonna be this uh, daily power. And I can attack one hero, and hopefully I could do three damage to this uh, Drider. So let's try that out. It is a five. Oh no. So that is 11. I don't uh, beat his AC. I still do a minimum of one damage to him though. And that, I think that is the end of my turn. So that is not a good turn for us. Okay, so now I have to draw a counter card. And what do we got? Event, Cunning Disguise. You are revealed as a monster in disguise. Place a new monster on your hero's tile. Then place your hero on any square in the star tile. All right, well, that's interesting. So I have to draw a new monster. There's too many monsters now. Oh, I have another Hemlock Spurs. So we can't do that same monster because I control that one already. So, oh no, a troll. You explored too much, you explored too much. So this, I was not actually Dritz here, Emma. I was actually a troll, see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I have to place it on the start tile. So I'm gonna start on the way, 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 way edge here, okay? Or I guess maybe here. I guess we didn't explore it after. Okay, that's the end of my event. So, um, let's see. So now these uh, guys will activate. This hidden mob spirit is within one tile and it's gonna scream at me with how. 
So that is a six modifier. So six plus six is 12, does not uh, um, beat my AC. I'm safe. The hunting trait will activate. He's too far away from me. So moves two tiles, so he's really fast. So he's gonna move two tiles, come over here. Then the troll is gonna come after me. So let's see, he moves one tile towards the hero. So he's gonna stone like this. And these uh, other monsters do not activate because it's under your control, Missy, okay? All right, so you now spawn here, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're both back at our start, okay? What? Yeah, I know, pretty weird. All right, definitely do not explore more, please. We have way too but many monsters. But then you have to draw more encounters. That's okay, that's okay. So what can you do? To, do you have like a special daily power? Or something. Let's see. You have this daily power. Attack one monster within two tiles, and you can do a headshot to three. Um, but that is for the drider. You can still sort of see him through all the other monsters if you want. Mm, but to get the actually, troll. now the now the troll actually has four. Yeah. I'm to get the troll or remove a whole bunch of little monsters. Yes, I'll try to get this one. Okay. And just shoot with this one. So which one are you going to shoot? This one and this with this one. Wh which what, monster? The, the, the hunting monster. drink? Okay, here we go. It's a 14. Oh, thank Six. goodness. You do get him. All right, here we go. And when you get a treasure, treasure. yep, yeah, and you get a treasure. You only get one treasure, even if you knock out more monsters. So what is that treasure? Root of shielding. Okay, so that's good. You could get one less damage. That's going to be helpful. Okay. And uh, where are you gonna move? Oh, you get one health back. Mm -hmm. You get one health back, here's your health. That's why I choose it. I guess you just stay at the same spot then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you draw a counter card, let's see what happens now. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Event, Cave Fisher's Lair. A cave fisher snags you with a sticky web dragging you into the clutches of an opportunistic ally. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon stack and place it next to an exploit edge closest to hero. Place a new monster on that hero. Your hero is now immobilized, but you have spider mass. Do not draw a counter card on that new tile. All right, so unfortunately we do have to draw a new tile, but it's taken from the bottom, so now we're, getting, we're not getting any closer to the um, thing that we, uh, the draw glyph. So we have to draw a new monster. Uh, can you draw a new monster card? It's a hunting drake again. Okay, so this one will go here. And I'll place a new hunting drake miniature here. And you are now immobilized, but do you want to use your spider mask? You yes, have, I will. So you don't have to be immobilized. So she's going to use this special item, spider mask. And uh, it was just cancel out that special effect. So that's uh, good. Okay. Now, all these monsters that you control activate though, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have, uh, first of all, this Drider. He, he is pretty far away. So he, the Drider moves two tiles towards the closest hero with the fuse move after your move pass. Oh, this card we're supposed to pass to me to activate again. All right, so he's fast, so. Anyways, we'll do that next time, okay? So he's gonna move up to here, okay? So he's, he's moving up close, but I guess he does not attack yet, but he will be passed to me to attack, okay? Next up is your Goblin Cutter. He is really far away, so he's gonna just move one tile. And then we got your Hunting Drake, and he is already close by, so he's gonna go adjacent. Can he go, I guess he could go adjacent to me. You could shave your shield for now. Because if he hits me, I got this uh, stance to block it already, okay? All right? Yes, Emma? Uh-huh. So he cuts a 20, so he does hit me, but I block his damage with this uh, stance. All right, so I got all these monsters here, and I do have this Wand of Lightning Bolts. Attack up to three monsters. 
uh, within one tile of your hero. So I think I'm gonna use this. Instead of attacking, I am gonna use this uh, Wand of Lightning Bolts. So I'm gonna attack uh, first this Hunting Drake. Let's see, the Hunting Drake is a 12, or I'm sorry, 14. So I'm gonna attack this Hunting Drake first. This is a, with a six modifier. Ew, I, I just barely get him. So the Hunting Drake is knocked out, okay? So I get one tile for my experience. And let me just draw a treasure card really quickly first. And I got Fortune, Intimidating Strike. Oh, this is good. Wave your weapon menacingly at a foe. Move one monster, one tile in any direction. So I am gonna move. You know, maybe I move this spirit far away so he doesn't attack me this round. So he's gonna, I'm gonna just scare him away like that. All right, so I am gonna attack also the Drider, the Drider already has one point of damage. I'm gonna attack him with the Lightning Bolt. Oh, it's a miss, it's a three. And I'm gonna attack the Troll with a Lightning Bolt. It's a 15, so he gets one point of damage, the Troll. Okay, so that is the end of my turn. This item is now exhausted. And I can still move and uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move further away, not draw a new um, tile, but just to get further away, just in case of, of an attack. I do have to draw an encounter card though, unfortunately. And, and it's an event, Emma. It's an attack. Dire Corby Flock. Attack each hero on your hero's tile. Well, at least I'm not on the same tile as you anymore. It is unfortunately a plus nine. And it is a 17. It does hit me. I get two points of damage. Darn those Corbys. Okay. That is done. Uh, it is now your turn, Missy. So this is the set. He has one point of damage. That one has one point of damage. Okay, I'm going to move back here. Okay. And shoot the dry yard. All right. With dryer, with these the same thing. Okay, same all right. Thing. Go ahead. Oh, good. Thirteen. So you definitely hit. And again, another health. Point. You do get another health point here. So he's down to one health only. Okay. So this card out goes to you. So you have to draw a counter card though. Volcanic explosion, uh, but we're not next to it. Yeah, you know, I wish the monsters would take damage from that, right? Mm -hmm. That's just not fair. Okay, so nothing happens that because the volcano event is over there, and now the monster is attached. So the goblin cutter is going to go first. He's just going to move one tile closer. He's just going to go here, I suppose, and then this drider will move, and he is really close to us now, so he's gonna attack. I'm gonna see if he can attack you because you have your shield. Is that okay? To okay. block it, because I don't have my stance anymore. When I roll for his attack, he has a plus eight. So oh, 17, he hits. And he does two points of damage. So you can use your shield to block one point of that damage. Is that right? Yes? Okay. And then you still have to lose one, unfortunately. All right. Okay, so now it's my turn. I am going to attack him with Twinkle, okay? okay? Plus six. And let's see, that's 13. And his Drider is a 16. I miss. I get another free attack. That's my expert combat ability. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack him again, okay? Let's see. Oh no, Emma, it's another miss. Oh that, no. That is horrible. All right. 
I can move, but I am going to stay put. So I'm going to draw a counter card. Another attack, Quickling Ambush, attack your hero. They have a plus eight. Oh, they miss. Thank goodness. But I still have a minimum of one damage, unfortunately, from this quickly attack. Wow, this is a deadly dungeon tonight. Okay, so this Drider card is going to go towards me. And this Hypnotic Spirit, he's too far away to scream, so he's going to move two tiles closer. So, uh, so one, two. He's, he's up here now. The fur troll, he is two tiles away, so he's gonna, he regains his health point and moves one. So he healed up Emma, this troll. He's now back to full health. And then this drider is gonna attack me. Plus eight. Oh, he hits me for two points of damage. I'm down to three health now. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Emma, that was my turn. Okay. We're in trouble. Let's see if we can get out of this predicament. <laughs> so, yeah, he has to go. <laughs> he has one health left. What can he do? Should I risk it and use the special one but lose one health? But it's only still plus six. Maybe just use this, get a plus four bonus. Don't even get health. Okay. Should I use this one though? Because if I moved and I'll have to encounter, I'm gonna use this one. And just this one to help. I see. Okay. <sighs> oh no! Oh well. The worst of worst roll. That's a daddy roll. Oh no. Yeah. I always roll a one. Okay, so you miss that and you lose one point of damage for all that trouble. Okay, you're not moving, you're staying there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are stuck. Let's see. Uh, you have to draw a counter card, unfortunately, Emma. Mm -hmm. And oh, you have your first uh, curse on you, okay? Mm -hmm. So you don't have any damage yet, uh, but the next one you get, you will get damage. So we're just going to put this uh, as a reminder they have a curse on you, okay? All right. So this now it goes on your side. This goblin cutter is going to move. Well, he's blocked, so I'm just going to say he's back here. But this drider is going to attack with a plus eight. I'll roll for him. Oh, he hits you for two more points of damage, Missy. Oof. No. Yep. Okay, now it is my turn. I am going to... Well, I had the stance here. I should have taken away one damage away from that twinkly attack. I guess that was a monster. No, it's not an adjacent monster, so we'll just keep it like this. So I am going to use twinkly attack to attack um, the drider there. Seven. Seven plus six is not, four, uh, not 16. I'm going to have to try again. Uh, that is a one. That's not good. All right. I missed two, unfortunately. So the drider is going to go over here. His mouse spirit's going to yell at me. Uh, plus six. And boy, he hits me for uh, one point of damage. It's not adjacent, so I still get the damage. And then the troll, he is one tile away. So he can't. Emma, I guess he's blocked. He can't really get adjacent to me. I guess we'll just say he stays there. He can't attack because his drider's in the way. But this drider will attack for sure. So, oh, he misses. Thank goodness. All right. Whew. We have another counter card though. It's volcanic spray, so we are safe. So that is a fortunate event. And then it's now your turn, Emma. Okay. I hope you can do it. Please, please, please. Let's see. <laughs> a plus four. You have to hit him, right? Should I... I can't use this one or I will die. Yeah. Well, you can move to the edge if you want. If you have to, you have to. Okay? Well... 
I have to. Or you could be in this stance and just get one hit point back, but that's pretty risky, huh? Mm. I'm just gonna try. Okay, here we go. We'll be, okay, maybe. How's your fingers? Seven. Seven, Seven plus six is. Uh -oh. Something. Thirteen, right? Wait, what? He, you need sixteen. He's really tough. No. Oh, you did plus four. That's yeah, right. That's seventeen. That's so right. Oh, 17. thank God oh. you did that. All right. And I win. <laughs> but I died. No, it's so no, sad. No, no, it's no, no, so no, no. bad. No, use this one. Remember, that's why you went to the edge. So you don't lose a hit point. You get hit. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. And now you got four points of damage. Uh, four experience points. And one is. more trigger. And one more trigger. Hopefully, it's a healing potion. Cure potion. Cure potion, huh? Your hero gains. Your hero gains one, one hit point. It is one condition. I, I I'm think, gonna do it right now. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, here we go. Give, give it to me. <laughs> All right. So um, you have to um, get a new tile. So when you get a new tile here, I'm gonna place it. And what I'm gonna do here is since. She, we either going up as I'm gonna bring this dungeon down, okay? Voila! No right. one can help her. Only there's only one monster. Goblin Archer. Goblin Archer. All right, so I have a miniature for that already. It's right here, and it's gonna shoot. You can I use my special power to move two? Yeah, that's right. Quickly. One, two. Yeah. Oh. Then he's not gonna shoot. Now you got it. That's how we negate that. Okay. So the Goblin Cutter is going to move one tile closer. He's going to be on here. The Troll and the Hemat Spirit are not going to activate. They're my monsters. Okay, so that was a, a good turn of events. Now it is my turn. And I think, uh, I think I still have Stance. I didn't get any damage that one round. Now, I'm going to need some help to get rid of this Troll, but... I need to get rid of the spirit first, so I'm going to move up to here and attack this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll go for this cutter first. Go! Yeah, let's do that. I can move seven, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go to the other side here. And I'm going to attack your archer. Okay, using my twinkle. And it is nine, plus six is 14. I hit the archer for sure, he's knocked out. And I get a treasure for that. It is a speed of necklace. So I get a plus two speed uh, until I lose this treasure basically. That will be helpful. I could do another attack, but I'm not really adjacent to now. I just want to get away from this crowd first. Let's see. So now I have to draw a counter card. And I have also a Mark of Loft on me. So I have also here. So I'll just put that card right here. Nothing happens right now, but if I get another one, I'll lose a hit point. So I will have to activate the monsters under my control. So this spirit is not close enough to attack anyone. So he's going to move two tiles closer. Oh, you, you know, I think that we've been playing this one a little bit wrong for this tactic. Otherwise, the closest hero moves two tiles closer to the hidden monster spirit. So the spirit doesn't move. I move to the spirit. Oh. Oh, so the closest hero is you. So you're like under this spell, two tiles closer. So like like here, I guess. Uh -huh. All right. Sorry about that. Now this troll will activate. It's gonna move to the closest hero, uh, which is gonna be you, and attack. And also this troll gets passed on to the right as well. It's like the drider. Oh my gosh, so he's a tough monster. So just realize that. And we're already in trouble. The... Okay, so he, he, he get three points of damage, Emma. You are knocked out. Okay. Sorry about that, Missy.
Okay, so I guess this would get passed to you, but you're knocked out, so I guess I'll stay here. All right, so um, that is the end of my turn. And you lose this health. But you spring back, right? You use mm -hmm. a healing surge? Yes. So healing surge lets you regain some health up to surge points, and your surge value is three. So you get three health points. You pop up. Like, whoa! <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? I'm going to try to... Well, well, what stance do you want to be in first? Do you want to be in I'm this... I'm going to uh... be in this one. Okay. Just in case. And go over here. Okay. And, try to and I'm going to try to shoot the spirit. Yeah, the spirit has only one hit point. Okay. The... Okay. Where did I put the dice? Okay, there we go. Okay. Fifteen. You did it. Good job. So this is now your experience. You could get a treasure card too. Hopefully it's super helpful. Mask of Disguise. Use when a monster not on your hero activates, uh, not on your tile activates. Okay, so uh, that may be helpful, like to avoid uh, damage from the troll, I suppose. Now this troll goes to your side now. And the Goblin Cutter, he's going to activate, but he's blocked by these two monsters, so we'll just ignore him for now. But the Troll, he's going to move up to you. Uh oh I think it might be useful to use your Massive Disguise. I use, will. Yeah, this Enchanted Mask allows the wearer to look like anyone. Use when a monster not on your tile activates. Your hero does not count as the closest monster. So basically, he's going to ignore you. And since, uh, since you are far away, or I am far away, he is going to move one tile closer to me. So he's going to go like this. So you, yeah, so he doesn't attack you, so he's just coming closer. So that, that actually might work out in our favor, okay? Okay. All right. And, um, you know, one thing we forgot to do is, did we draw a counter card for you? I, I don't think we did. We did not. We did not. So here, I'll do that for you right now. We have an event, Besiege. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters adjacent to him or her. All right, so I take no damage, but you have to take one damage, Emma, okay? Sorry about that, okay? Okay. All right, now it is my turn, Dritz's turn. Oh, don't forget to lose this guy. Oh, yeah, thank you for that reminder. Okay, so we don't... We only have two monsters, but the troll is a big one. I, I'm i going to go adjacent to him, okay? I'm going to go adjacent to him, but also get a new tile just in case so we don't have another encounter card. I, and I'm going to attack him twice with uh, Twinkle. Okay. He only has a AC of 12, all right? So here we go. Oh, eight. Eight plus six. I did do it. So he gets one damage. Okay. I'm going to attack him again. Oh, no, a two. That is horrible. All right. So just one hit with that, or one damage, that is. I don't have any other things I can do right now. All right. So I'm on edge. Oh, we get lucky. It is a white arrows, so we do not have to draw a counter card, but I still have to draw a new monster. We already saw most of the tough monsters already. So this is a Drow Duelist. And, well, I believe that miniature of the Duelist here, he will go adjacent to me and attack with a plus nine. And uh, I think he misses. Yeah, he does miss. That's only a 13. He does not meter exceed my AC. So I got lucky there. And now the troll will attack. So I guess you still have your mask on. He's going to attack me. Okay. He has a plus 8. 17. He definitely hits me. So I get 3 points of damage, but I negate one of them with my stance. So I get 2 points of damage. So I am... Unfortunately, knocked out, Emma. Okay? Something like this. Oh! So 
So we got, I have to use my last healing surge. It is now your turn. Okay. He, he needs three hit points. You do have a special daily power of headshot. I think you have to use it. Okay, I'm going to do on the with, troll! With a plus uh, four bonus. Too. Yes, I'm going to do on the troll. Here we go. But then I'll have to use this one. Sure. No, you're using this one, headshot. Okay, you're not using this. Okay, power. You're doing okay. Your okay ready? Okay. Yep. Whoa, you did it. What amazing, what an epic hit, right? Mm -hmm. Kachowie. Kachowie. All right, you definitely deserve a treasure for that. I wish you could get two. This attack gets plus two damage. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. No, All the time? Always. Oh, you no, can only use always. it once. You only can use it once, okay. All right, but this troll is knocked out. All right, so that's good. Um, Emma, you can move. Do you want to go to an edge to not draw a counter card or what? What do you want to do? So you knocked him out. You're right here. I have to draw one. Oh, you want to draw an event card? Is yeah. that it? Okay. I have to, right? Well, you didn't move yet. Oh, no. You can move. Do you want to move or not? No, it's okay. Okay, so you drew a lost event card. What you think was your shortcut takes you in the wrong direction. Without looking at it, take the bottom tile of the dungeon stack and place it on the top. Oh no. So that means our um, goal is going to be a little bit further down the tile, down the pile. Okay. All right, so your cutter will activate. He is within one tile. He, so he's going to go right adjacent to you and attack you with a seven, okay? So you finally can attack you. You want to roll for that? Okay. Here we go. Can I roll high or should I roll low? Nobody knows. <laughs> oh, he hits you from one point of damage. Uh-oh. In trouble there. Okay. Um, okay, so I have to use my healing search. That's our last one. And I get four. And we didn't even meet the villain yet. Now, I thought this game was a little bit easy the old other times, right? Because our special ability of double attack and uh, with your stance abilities, I thought it was easy, but boy, today's adventure is a little bit on the tougher side, right? Mm -hmm. All right Isn't so, that good? I guess. We, I spring up. I am going to attack uh, uh, Twinkle there, or I'm going to use Twinkle to attack. But let's see, while your stance token is this, and then you can, whenever you use an attack power, you may move your hero up to or before after attack. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack him, then attack him. So I will be able to attack both, I think. All right? Okay. So I'm going to attack the duelist first. Oh, I do get him, actually. So that's good. So he's knocked out. That is very fortunate. And then I get a treasure card for that. Hopefully it's health. Push and healing. Okay, so I'm gonna use this immediately. On who? On uh, well, I'll use it on you. Okay. That is a good point because what I'm gonna do is use that dance ability to go here, and this stance will move here too. And I'm gonna use the push and healing on you, and I'm gonna use the another attack on this uh, cutter. Okay. Okay. Oh, I get him too. You we're, get him too? Yeah, we're on a roll. But I don't get another treasure. But he's knocked out. So we have no more monsters. We don't? But I have to draw an encounter card. Now, I do have enough experience points. You could trade in five experience points to get rid of encounter. But uh, let's see. This is an attack. Attack each hero. Well, I'm going to let it play. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let it play. No, cancel this one. Let's see. Okay, this is for me, and oh, it hits me, 17, so I get one damage. And it's gonna attack you, Emma, okay? Hopefully it's a miss. Oh, it hits you too for one point of damage. Uh-oh. I probably should have canceled that. It's too late. Okay, it's your turn. Um, there are no monsters at all. So, so I guess- I explore? Yeah, let's explore. So let's move this dungeon this way, and we'll just go da, down. Da, 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 da. All right, can I put it for you? Mm -hmm. All right.
right. So it is a black arrow. It's a bad event you could cancel. You got so many experience points. Martha. Oh. I want to get rid of it. Okay. That's true. Okay. okay. All right. So no one gets any damage. But each hero with at least one curse would get a damage. So we both would have gotten one damage. So that's great. Thank you for doing that. It's canceled out with these. Uh, and now cards. there's another monster. Spider Swarm. Spider Swarm. So that miniature's going to be here somewhere. And let me find it. Spider Swarm. It's going to spawn right here. It's going to move up to you, I suppose, right? And attack you with a roll of seven. Here we go. Here, roll for that. Okay. Oh, I think it hits 13. You. Yeah, it hits you. And you are now poisoned. So, um, well, at least you don't get damaged right now, but you do have poison. You take one point of damage at the end of your hero phase, okay? okay? So we're gonna put that right here. Along with your curse mark. Okay, so I am gonna move. You know what I'm gonna do, Emma? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna move to here. And instead of attacking, you can place a figure, but I get a free attack. So I get one attack. I'm gonna do one free one attack here, but my free attack, I'm gonna spawn this because that will be in place of attacking, okay? So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna attack that spider swarm first. And that is a nine. Nine plus six, 14. I definitely beat the AC of 12. That's knocked out. I get a treasure card here. It is a charm, reroll, interroll. So that is super helpful. So this spider swarm is knocked out, but I'm going to use this special ability here. So instead of my free attack, I am going to call on my uh, panther to come. And where is that miniature? So here is Dritz's panther buddy. I keep on saying panther because I know I'm going to mispronounce its name. <laughs> okay, but he will spawn right next to us. How about this? So this is the first time we have the Panther in the game. Pretty excited to see that. Here is the ally card. And I'll place it right here. And so this uh, ally will activate when it is my uh, end of villain phase three. Or, act, sorry, activates first in step three. So maybe I keep it up as a reminder. And here is a little cheat card hero phase exploration phase, villain phase. So basically, activate activate all the other monsters and traps, then this panther will go, okay? Okay. All right, all right. So I have to draw a new tile though, and it is one with a black arrow. Volcanic event! Yep. I have to draw a counter card. Another curse. Uh-oh, let's see if I can block it. I have all these experience points. I could trade in five block it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay? Okay. I'm going to block that. Okay, so this curse is gone. I do have to draw a new monster, though. And his hunting party. Draw two monster cards and play them both. Oh, no. Watch. One of them is going to be a troll. Now, it's a draw wizard. And what else do we have here? A goblin cutter. So goblin cutter we have. So I have that one here. And the draw wizard. I'm gonna have to find out me. Is this guy here? I think this might be the first time we've seen the draw wizard in the game. So we'll just place him right here. So let's see. We'll put it like this. Okay, so draw a wizard, teleports to the tile with the most heroes. So he's gonna go here because and attack each hero on that tile with blast of fire. Oh, two points of damage, minimum one. Oof. So he's gonna attack me first with an eight. Ten. He does get me, so I get two points of damage. 
And then he's going to attack um, my panther. Oh no, he only has two health points. 11. So he, he hits him with just two points. And my panther's already gone. Oh, that's horrible. He didn't even have a chance to attack. Oh, I'm so sad. So this panther is knocked out. Oh, that's really sad. Okay. And that was the end of his attack. Now this cutter is going to move towards me and attack. A seven, he misses. All right, Emma, it is your turn. What do you plan to do? You are right here. We got now a wizard here and a cutter. I'm going to try to get the wizard. Now, the wizard has two health, though. So just be uh, aware of that. Um, what stance would you like to be? I would be in this one. Okay. And now I will use this one. So here's here the dice. How much health? Do, uh, wait, yeah, 16? Two. Okay. Right. Oh, well, yeah. I win. Yeah. yeah. All right, so he gets one point of damage mm -hmm. here. Okay. And then, uh, do you plan to move or just stay there? Mm, I'm just going to stay. Stay? Okay, then draw a counter card, please. Okay. Here. You know, you have an item here, a tunnel map. Let's see what this does. During exploration phase, uh, place the top tile of the dungeon deck next to any unexplored edge. But then you still have to draw a monster card, but you don't have to draw a counter card, even if it is. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. um, and it could be any unexplored edge. It could be even super far away. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. You want to try that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Well, before you do that, I guess yeah, we know it's going to be a bad event here. Okay, but I guess in counter cards, uh, the event happens first. You're using this. So it is here, and you, we're going to put it super far away, right? Right here? Okay, we'll put it way over here. Oh. And then there will be a monster for that. It's going to be a goblin archer. So the archer will start way, way over here. And he's not too bad. He's a weak monster anyways. But you drew this event. It, you don't get any damage, you get immobilized. You want to keep it? Well, no. Yeah, maybe. You don't get any damage from it. Well, okay. All right, so you want to roll for your attack first, so you can get webbed up. Uh, you got a 9 plus 8. 17? 17. You are now immobilized. Oh, you are also poisoned, too. You got to roll for that as well. Um, and then for me... Oh, I am immobilized as well. Oh my goodness, immobilized. All right, so that was a, a bad event. This tunnel map is not used. Emma, you got poison. You're supposed to take a damage, okay? So you get one damage, you got one health left. Now, at the end of your hero race, you can roll a 10 plus and then you will just beat okay. the poison. So you get it out of your body. You do, thank gosh. All right. So the poison out of your system. Okay, it's my turn now. I'm immobilized, but I'm next to the cutter, so I can still attack with Twinkle. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I won. But at least I have a bonus attack, so I'm gonna attack again. Oh, I get him this time. So this cutter's knocked out. I get a treasure here. Hopefully it's something super helpful. Fortune, it's a camp. Even the perilous underdark, relatively safe areas exist. Play immediately. Place a camp token on any tile. When a hero on a tile with a camp token withdraws a counter card, that uh, hero can discard the camp token instead. So basically, we cancel a, a counter card. Um, why don't we place a camp token where I am right now then? Mm -hmm. I guess, right? So, um, I'm immobilized. I'm making camp exactly where I'm at. But uh, before we do that, uh, I have to do this draw attack card. And, you know, he's going to do a minimum one point of damage. I have only one health. Oh. Yeah. And I have stance, but it's only negates damage if I am attacked by an adjacent monster. So I think I'm going to be knocked out completely. <laughs> All right. Unless there's some way out. Oh, I have reroll. 
But that doesn't help. He does one point of damage anyways. Mm. I think we're stuck, Emma. Is there something else you could think of you could do? No. No? Oh, you know what you could have done? You could use your item for plus two damage. But it's okay. It was too late, huh? Can you pass it to me? No. Can I just move it? It's a little too late. Um, all right. Well, you can roll. He hits me for two points of damage. And Dritz is knocked out. All right. I, I can't do anything about that, Emma. I'm knocked out. It's your turn. Okay. So... You, How much health does he have left? One. Okay, I'm going to try to finish. Let's see if you can finish this adventure yourself. You are strong enough. I bet you can do it. I, I just need to get rid of him. Yep. And then we win the whole game? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should I use this? No, no. I'm just going to go. Yes. So you get him. He's knocked out. That's good. You get his um, card here. And treasure. treasure. Is that something helpful? Following through. Deal one damage to... No. To one monster. Oh, no, Don't even oh man. Okay, that would have been helpful previously. Okay, so this monster's knocked out. Uh, you can move. You could just maybe go down. Maybe go there. Okay. Or, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Okay. Hopefully it's a glyph. Oh, it's a secret cave here. So remember, you have camp here, a uh, special camp here. I'll just represent he's in camp. But here, heroes on this tab do not draw encounter cards. Woo! But that's on the card, so you're not on it. So this monster moves up here. You still have to draw a monster okay. from this one. It's a spider swarm. We got one of those. Here we go. Just knock him out. Okay. So he's, Ready? He's, uh, yep, he's gonna move here and uh, he attacks you for a seven. Okay. Where is the dice? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, he gets you for one point of damage. Uh, oh no, that is it. We actually failed. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. All right. So that has been our attempt at Dungeons and Dragons Legend of Dritz, mission number four. I thought this game was actually on the easier side. And when I was setting up the game, I was even contemplating running this game solo with just one character because we sort of went through all three earlier missions without much problems. But we had, unfortunately, some bad luck with rolls. And definitely with the advanced deck, it's a lot harder with these uh, trolls that heal up immediately having plus four health. This troll is tough, huh? <laughs> and, and not only did we have the troll, we had the drider at the same time. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Maybe we'll have better luck next time. We'll probably just try a different mission. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Keep on adventuring out there.